Welcome to Reality Is Where Words Do Come to Life. I'm making this video because it saddens my heart to know that our judicial system is truly flawed. And we've seen a lot of cases where individuals have been sitting in jail for years and have cried their innocence and have been denied a fair revisit. Um, we find that a lot of judges, a lot of state's attorneys, and we lay all the weight on the police officer, but they're just a small part to play in this full scenario. The other part that plays in the scenario is the color of the skin. Uh, depending on the color of the skin will determine the level and the heightened awareness of the case. It will also determine on the color of the skin how many years a person will be deemed to be incarcerated. I've said this over and over many times and I still stick to what I say. Um, Jason Van Dyke shot Laquan McDonald 16 times. A um, person that was not mentally stable walking the other way shot him 16 times. But because of the suit and the badge that he wore, he was only held for three years. And after three years, he was let out. So really, he didn't get to stay for the 16 bullets because of the color of his skin. We haven't heard anything from him yet and still. In every state, in every county, when it comes down to a person of color, they get the maximum sentence for one attempted bullet or one bullet. Now, you might say, what are you trying to say? I'm not trying to say anything. What I am saying is totally unfair and it needs to change. A crime is a crime. If you're going to be fair, be fair with everybody. Uh, stop ignoring um, the evidence and making a person be what you want them to be. And it's not that case. You are destroying families. You are uh, causing children to be out without their parents. And we don't do a good job. So if you really want to look at this system, the judges, the police officers, and the state's attorney have no authority to lock anybody up. Because from where we sit, sitting out looking in, you are no more than anybody else. You all are just as guilty. But you sit on your high horse, making decisions on individual lives, and you're just as wrong. And if you have family members or your colleagues have family members that end up in situation, you use your authority to give them the lightest sentence possible. And if their skins are a certain color, color, then they really get the lightest sentence possible. We see when they're being handled in certain situations, white folks get the gentleness to cover them, but black people get the slam down and the extra bullet that they didn't ask for and the maximum of sentence. So God is not pleased. And if you all don't change your ways, I promise you, God is going to make you all pay. Because he said, touch not my anointing and do my children no harm. And you are destroying those people of colors. But the funny thing is, we have all these illegal immigrants here. And y'all give them all the perks and the privileges that they need. They go downtown, they tear up stuff, and nobody says anything. Nobody says a word. Not one word. The people that's been jumping out of cars and, and making all this riffraff and half of them can't drive. They get all the perks and the privileges. They get to lay up in the police stations and free. And you get to get uh, closed schools to put them in. And then you drop them off in jobs. And you give them housing. You give them checks. And you give them link cards. And you give them cars. And we are the only race of people that end up with the short end of the stick. We are the only race of people that end up in jail 25 and 30 years. And if we have a disease or we have a sickness that we're on our deathbed, you still think that that almighty dollar that you're holding over their head because prisons are an investment that you need to keep your investment. You want to keep them in there until they check out. And then some of those individuals who check out are not checking out by um, their own hands. They're checking out by other people's hands. This system is so flawed. And what we need to work on, we don't work on. The laws, the, the bills, the amendments are changing, but they're not changing for the better. Everything is changing to help those who are in authority to lock more of us up, to break up the family. 
You understand what I'm saying? Again, we had the insurrection at the Capitol, and they have still not locked up as many people as they should have. And there was some loss of lives. Same thing with Kyle Rittenhouse when those two individual lives was taken. And people still justified that. But he didn't live in Wisconsin. He lived in the state of Illinois. So he really didn't have no business down there. He was underage. He did not have a security company. But we justified that because of the color of his skin. So now we know the facts. The facts is that our color does not have any way. It doesn't have any value. And we're not protected. We're thrown inside of facilities and our lives are snatched. When the truth is right at our face and we choose to ignore the truth. We don't want to own it. We don't want to face it. We don't want to address it. But we want to put notches on our belt as a state's attorney, as a judge, as an officer. And that's not fair because what you do to somebody else's family, you would not want done to yours. It's too much clickers. It's too much favoritism. I don't care about the situation. I don't care about the scenario. All I know is if my person started to fight, I don't want you to make them look like the bad guy. Make the other person look like the bad guy. And then for those first time offenders, we don't even think about that. We don't even care that they've never been in trouble before. Never. But yet instead, we want to throw the book. We want to throw them up under somebody's walls of a prison. And that is unfair in so many levels. And we really need to do better. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Talk soon.